and he's really tough so that makes it really tough to guard them because if you come back and try and double a guy like that they got shooters everywhere on both sides of the floor yeah i think that's the point that i was going to look at is kellen grady hall of famer 10-time coach of the year lives across the street from the school right. awesome yeah and and Europe and they'll come over and the first thing they want to do where's the court stuff curry played on and they take pictures And, and it's a great canvas you and I've both been awesome. many times. It's a beautiful canvas outside of Charlotte Wow coach. He won a national championship at Williams been at Bucknell Eight points now for Kellen Grady the net use your head because if you used your hands officials would see it like a soccer header just headed out so you can get back down the court and get on defense before they beat you down there our coach always just put in fresh nets because it took longer for the ball to get through the hoop not the i remind you coming up on the u.s right now it looks like davidson will in control you come out like that out of a half and they just they've just got way too many open looks yeah, that deep in the paint with options and Kellen Grady goes lucky the most impressive player I've watched today Trey Mitchell Yeah, he, he had quite a game and a losing effort, but yeah, he's a player we'll Let the check in with Petey buckets and see what he thinks of it. UMass eliminated earlier today by st. Louis Now the Billikens will take on the number one seed st. Bonaventure Bonnie's long-range three I am man. Outstanding shooter, but he's very thin. Where are you going to play him? And then I see Yuta Watanabe, who played at GW yeah. on the Spurs. Yeah. I look at Grady. These guys all make shots, and the league has changed. If you can make shots, you're going to get a look. And Grady can make shots. It was a big, big yeah. issue this year. Just unfortunately, if they don't win the tournament, they are not getting it. The A-10 on a whole has been a solid conference. Multiple bids. Who do you see as at-large possibilities then for the Atlantic 10? Uh, depending on how this whole, like if St. Bonaventure doesn't win the right. tournament. 20-point lead, 10.47 to play. One of these two teams, their season will be done after this game. Davidson, it's an interesting matchup, as you pointed out, Cap, on multiple locations for a lot of teams. You look at VCU without Bones Highland, and they're a real problem for them. Uh, yeah, Davidson I hope. versus St. Louis, that's a different story because you've got shooters against. That's it. Put a lot of offense out there in the second half. Joking with our producer, I was saying, was it the minutes that got him the points or the points that got him the minutes? Right. He got quite a few more minutes than he normally does. Up and into the front court after a dangerous pass from Kellen Brady as they're just trying to run as much clock as they can under nine and a half minutes to play. Offense has not changed a bit for Coach McKillop and his Wildcats. They're still running that motion offense, everyone moving, no one's stagnant, good ball sharing. If you're going to get the ball in someone's hands, why not? I'll shoot her. We'll see if he can knock these two in. Currently sitting on 28 points, make it 29. Last thing you want is a crazy 10 12 run, and then you got to bring it back in. Right now, you got to re really turn it. Harris is in that elite eight run they had back in 08. They had a couple dude when they go recruiting. If you can't shoot, you don't they don't recruit yeah. you. 